going into this outdoor season, honestly, like we kind of knew that that there was going to be some hurdles um, between Josh um, just coming off an injury, between not having much time to test or develop the bike for outdoor season. Um, just basically, as far as Suzuki's go, the 250F hasn't been racing professional um, for a while. So I knew we we definitely had some work cut out for us. But showing up to the first round, I felt like um, our bike was really good and you know, everything everything was going pretty smoothly. But then obviously um, we had some trouble with Kyle's bike in practice, which was a knockdown for the team. It was it was really one of those things where you know I'd qualified in, Josh qualified in, and and um, as a team owner, it's kind of like, man, I just wanted to give Kyle my bike because I felt so terrible about the, you know, the mishap that, that the team had had. So it's just really tough. Going into the season, doing all our preseason testing, Kyle's been the fastest um, guy out of all three of us. And for him not to be able to race the first round, yeah, you know, maybe we shouldn't talk about it or maybe, maybe try to brush it under the rug because it reflects badly on the team. But... I mean, it's our, it's our mistake, you know, and we, we made progressive steps forward to fix that mistake the next week, and we hired on more help um, next week, and it, or the, the next weekend after that, Glenn Helen went really smoothly, all three bikes in the show, obviously, and um, it was good. Kyle put in a decent result, both motos, top 20 both motos, and, um, you know, moved on from there. You know, it was a, kind of a, a bit of a building block for us. At Glenn Helen, we kind of noticed that, um, Definitely, we needed to work on the power of the bike. You know, we're losing power going up the hills, but you know, we're a first year team and and we're building. And I think that's what's cool about this team is everybody understands that that's on it and involved with it. That um, you know, we're gonna go out there and we're gonna do the best we can. Yeah, we might not be competing with all the factory teams the first year, but you know, we're here for the long haul. We're here to build every single weekend. We left Glen Helen, you know, with our heads held pretty high. Going into Colorado, it was kind of a little bit of a knockdown again, which which sucked. Um, we uh, just didn't prepare for the altitude with the bikes good enough. Um, you know, we, we're decent. We were decent with our bikes running, you know, down at sea level, and then once we went up to altitude, it just we lost a lot. Obviously, everybody loses power up there, but I felt like, um, you know we didn't react very well to it so that was pretty hard we ended up having um i ended up having a mechanical a second moto so it's just these things you know being a young team working through them and and building um like i said we knew going into this outdoor season that it was going to be a building year georgia moving over into her presenting role for the outdoor national series at the nbc was you never quite know how much someone does on a, on the weekend until they're not there and um she's definitely helps run the ship a little bit tighter, but we still got her during the week and she still helps out tremendously when she's not doing her job on the weekends. So, you know, for us, it's good to have her. Sucks not having her on race day sometimes, but you know, she's always there on the weekend. And even when she seems to be busy with work, she's always checking in, making sure everything's smooth, going smooth. And you know, if she's there and she can fix any problems, she's always willing to do it. I think as a rookie going into the season, Josh, you know, not this is his first season of professional racing. There's a lot of times I can I can give him advice and, you know, take for instance the first round, he didn't make it out of uh, qualifying practice. He had to go to the LCQ race and the look on his face, I just knew that I knew that he was so stressed and so worried and I'd been in that situation before where you're like, "Oh my, your back's against the wall and like what if you don't even make it to the motos like that's just not good it it, it would be terrible and um you know obviously i'm not going to sit there and tell him that to his face and it's just going to stress him out even more but um he went out there and he pulled the whole shot in the lcq and and qualified right in and to me that shows good character in a rider that when their backs pushed against the wall they they make it happen. Now we got this off weekend to kind of work on our weaknesses, um, try some different stuff with our with our engine and bike setup. So going into High Point, fourth round of the Outdoor National Series, we're all pretty 
pretty happy and confident that um, we're going to show up and make a good showing.